Into this Thursday, all of the developed currencies are down against the U.S. dollar since the weekly open. The dollar has been performing well across the board with U.S. equities and the price of gold both relenting as well. A lot of this has to do with the market getting back to focusing on the bigger picture theme of monetary policy normalization, which carries the implication of higher rates in the U.S. as the Fed continues to move in the direction of reversing a near decade-long post-crisis accommodation that had artificially supported investors at every turn. The U.S. benchmark yield hitting 3% and the head turner on the shorter end of the curve with two-year yields pushing up to their highest level since 2008 are confirming this view. White House policies have, however, been a major distraction, and it seems this latest dialing down of protectionist rhetoric has allowed the market to get back to thinking about traditional global macroeconomic drivers. How long this keeps up remains to be seen, though there is risk that if the dollar makes another run, it could really look to accelerate in the days ahead. As far as levels go, we would use the euro dollar March low as the proxy. The market has been consolidating above this level for the entire 2018, and a daily close below 121.55 could be the catalyst that sparks the next dollar run. But we do say daily close below as ECB event risk will likely result in some choppy whipsaw trade and we believe it would be better to wait to see where the dust settles at the end of the day. The only other notable standout on today's calendar comes by way of U.S. durable goods. Earlier today, Aussie import and export prices came in above forecast. That's all for now.